Yum. This is so delicious, I don't think I can stand it. Yeah. Super duper. Scrumptious. You know, we're not very far from Miracle Mountain. I was thinking that maybe it's time we should get a move on. I say that no enterprise of great pith and moment should ever be undertaken on an empty stomach. Oh, certainly. I couldn't mm. agree with you more, sis. Let's have another daughter melon. <laughs> hey, what the heck? <laughs> oh! Ah. Hey, what's all this in Ada? Huh? You think you can get away with this behavior just because you're a little kid? Yeah, you shouldn't go around annoying your olders and betters. I'll grant you the olders part, but my betters don't sneak around stealing watermelons. How dare you! <laughs> Watermelon thieves can expect no forgiveness. One thing you gotta learn is respect, kid. Holy moly! Now it's my turn to attack. That's one skillful little boy. All right, who's next, front and center? Not me. I'm behind and to the side. <laughs> now look, we're sorry. We stole your watermelons. Our lives will be filled with guilt feelings forever, okay? <laughs> oh, boy, does that hurt. Well done, Geiger. Oh. Father! That was indeed a famous victory. <sighs> this will be huh? the spoils of my you victory. What? You lost the match, therefore you must present your sword to the victor. These are the rules governing fencing matches around these parts. Hey, there's something wrong with your eyes, mister. That ain't no sword. That's an EX. What a very interesting rule. Oh, please, forgive uh -huh. us. But give. Get down on the gravel and gravel, you imbeciles. <sighs> Since you have such a strong and skillful son, noble sir, I presume that you yourself are a highly accomplished swordsman. I'll have you know my father's the greatest blade of his day and age. Ah, then I was right. I wonder if it might be possible to ask a favor of a swordsman of such renown. A favor? Just what might it be? Oh! Well, there she is, kids. We're just about at the foot of Miracle Mountain. Miracle Mountain at last! Let's have a little dignified restraint. Come on! Yes. Let's say we take a little rest break. Oh, come on, Amy. We'll be out of the forest in just a few minutes. Yeah, well, I'm tired anyway. Huh? Who's there? Huh? Who? We found them. At <gasps> last. Help! Everyone, this way. What's going on? You'll see it's a challenge. Hero, what's it say? What kind of challenge is it? What kind of challenge is it? A fencing match? Noble sir, the thought of losing our precious sword to those criminals has caused us such anguish that we simply haven't been able to eat for days and days. And it's only fair to warn you that that kid is really awesome with that sword of his. Yeah, you're gonna have to beat the top of your game, noble sir. Well, now that you're under our protection, you have nothing to worry about. Geiger will see to it that your precious sword is returned to you. Uh huh? You're not going to engage him in combat yourself, noble sir? Didn't you say that he was a mere child? Well, yes, he is, but... Then it would be unseemly for me to challenge him. Don't you worry. I'll take care of everything. Well, okay, if you say so. We're almost at Miracle Mountain, and we have to waste our time on a duel? It's absolutely incredulous! I think you mean incredible. Anyway, I can't possibly refuse a fencing challenge. It's a point of honor. Yeah, his name isn't weakling or coward, is it? Despite his many faults, heroes, as macho as they come, you've got to give him that. It's them. Let's hide. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> we 
we don't want to interfere, so we'll watch from the bleachers. The challenge is here. May I have the honor of being presented to my opponent? My honor, sir. Wow, that is one handsome boy. So you wanted to challenge me, huh? You must be awfully confident. I think I am not without ability. Very well. There are your dueling weapons. If your opponent even pinks you, you forfeit your sword. You will fight down there on the Tiger Plains and not over here in the Tiger Woods. Is that clear? Mm-hmm. Perfectly. Mm. I say, the lad has excellent form. Feels great to be dueling again. I used to do this every day in the underwater realm. Underwater realm? Little one, are you by any chance acquainted with General Tagul? Acquainted with is putting it mildly, sire. He's my father. What's that? You are the son of the great Tagul? Do you know my daddy, noble sir? Why, hero, there's no one in the fencing world who doesn't know nay revere your father. Well, I must say I always thought he was pretty special myself, but I didn't know he was famous. Hero, your dad is a living legend. Isn't that great? Yeah! I find it hard to believe that General Tagul's son could have stolen a sword. I'm ready, whatever you are! Huh? No, oh, yes. Geiger, I hope you realize that having the opportunity to duel with General Tagul's son is a great privilege yes, and honor. I had no idea that little brat turtle's father was famous throughout the world. I'd like to take a look at the sword I'm risking mine against. Sword presentation ceremony. This is Hoyodal, the sword of pure amber. Wow, pure amber. This is my natural coral sword. Hey. Okay, if you really want to give me your sword, we can start anytime you like. I'll be glad to add your sword to my collection. Father? Noble sir? Very well, you may begin at once. Feels great to be back in the saddle. Little tiger, please win. Mm. Go, give it your best shot. Impress me. instant, Hero withdrew his hand. Therefore, the match is null and void. Now then, Geiger. I presume you agree with this ruling? Of course, Father. Really? Are you sure that's playing by the rules? Uh-huh. You were clearly distracted for just a moment there, Hero. I could never accept the victory. It wouldn't be fair. Hey, wait just a second. What's going on here? Not them again! How can you deny your dauntless and intrepid son a victory that he earned fair and square by his prowess in arms? What is this, Mishagas, noble sir? And who invited you to this little party? You little brat! Put a sock in it! You lost the duel, so hand over the natural coral sword! These entire proceedings are highly objectionable. Objection overruled. But why? Why, 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 why? This is an unspeakable Friends outrage. Friends are foul! Oh, oh, oh. I'm still asking why. Because, young lady, this sword was never yours to begin with. She's claiming the natural coral sword is hers? Whereas it is a priceless heirloom of the house of Tagul in the underwater realm. And you three do not look like sea creatures. Up to your old tricks again, huh? We've been found out, kids. The sword is clearly yes. yours, hero. You won't get away with this. Talk about your unwelcome guests. 
You mean that Ganif asked you to take Hera's sword away from him? Yes, I'm sorry. However, it's been a great opportunity for my child to face the son of General Tagul in a duel. Hero? Mm, now I know what the problem is. Hero. Yep, Geiger? Would you consider dueling with me again tomorrow? I admit I'd take it as a signal honor. You mean that? I'm convinced that in an even fight, I stand the chance of beating you fair and square. And we still bid our swords? Of course. Well, if I refuse your challenge, I tarnish my father's reputation. So tomorrow, let's have at it. Expect a lady to get her beauty sleep with all this racket. It's a ghost! Where are you going? I need to step behind a bush for a second. You should be toiling for the cause, so why are you lolling on your duffs? You have to bear one thing in mind, boss. We're weary from excogerating new plans, boss. It's a severe intellectuatory effort. I'm so tired of your feeble excuses, I feel like screaming, so I will. Ah! Boss, listen, we have some good news. Let's hear it. By tomorrow, we'll have the natural coral sword. Are you telling me the truth? Yes, boss. So if you can be patient just one more day. How often have I heard you say that? Make sure you don't fail. Make sure you don't fail! That sounds like a sail faith idea, sis. Yes. If we take the son hostage, the father will have no choice but to meet our demands. But that Geiger is one awfully strong kid. How do we go about subduing him and taking him hostage? With this, look, guys. It's a sleeping pill especially designed for tigers. Any tiger who takes one will sleep soundly until morning. should put him out of business, <laughs> Jesus. Huh? <gasps> Here's your nightly medicine, Father. Now, thank you, Geiger. It does wonders for my rheumatism. Maybe I'll even take another one later. <laughs> I'll be going now, Father. Good night. Good night, Geiger. Sleep well. <sighs> Jesus, what are we going to do? Oh, I don't know. That was our only pill. Master, where are you? Master Miger! Father, where are you? I have news, Geiger. Well, what is it? Tell me quickly. We found this message in your father's bedroom. Dear Prince Geiger, we have oh. taken your father hostage. He will be returned to you safe and sound if you follow our instructions. Just duel hero. Get his sword and deliver it to us. Signed, Huey, Jarota, and Tyson. They can't have taken my father. I just don't believe it. Maybe. But one thing's for sure, and that's that he's missing. You can't really think you'll get away with this tomfoolery. Maybe we will. Uh, um. And maybe we won't. But in the meantime, we'll be without your belly aching, you old creep. <clears throat> Do you really think this is going to work out? 
At this point, all we can do is cheer from the sidelines while the dutiful son fights to save his father. Very true. Geiger, where's your father? Who will volunteer to act as judge? I will, Geiger. I'm warning you, hero. I must have your natural coral sword, so I will give no quarter. Oh, I asked for none. I know who you are, so I won't be distracted again. What does he mean he knows who Geiger is, Duigi? I don't know. Doors, begin. Hiya. Well, that duel must have begun, but gosh, I'm tired. I guess it's because I was up and around all night. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Somebody get his license number. The duel has started, and... Oh, oh I'm sorry, ah! I'm sorry. Ah! Here, you forgot something. Sir? Father? Pay attention to the duel, Geiger. Yeah, don't be huh? distracted. I wouldn't accept a victory like that any more than you would. Right. Hey! Contact! I couldn't go back to my dad and tell him I lost a girl. What do you mean a girl? Who's a girl? Why, Geiger, of course. Huh? You mean Geiger's been a girl all this time? Yeah, my dad would tan the britches off me if I lost a girl. Your dad? You sexist pig, you know what Gloria Steinem would do to you? Hey, what are you getting your dander up for? Well, now that you mention it, she does look like she could go either way. <laughs> the point is, what does it matter? Yeah, it doesn't matter a darn thing whether you're a girl, a boy, or a baboon. The only thing that counts is you're a first-rate sword slinger. Do you really mean that? You better believe I mean it. <laughs> hmm. Daughter, I'm proud of you. I hope you keep on with your training. You're just going to get better and better as time goes by. Thank you, Father. Geiger was interested in swordplay practically from the cradle. I could never refuse her anything, so I let her have her way. Perhaps I was foolish. It was not my intention to raise her as a boy, but she never wore dresses or played with dolls or indulged in any other girlish pursuits, and so that's how it happened. Father, you aren't going to make me start acting like a girl now. Please say you're not. Geiger, I have news for you. Being a girl has some absolutely copacetic advantages. Not for me, Amy. I'm happy to be just the way I am. Hmm. Well, you know what they say. What's learned in the cradle is carried to the grave. Yes, it's next to impossible to unlearn the ways you were reared in, Luigi. Even I've started to think of her as my son and not my daughter. I'm thankful to my father for having reared me as a boy and not a girl. 
I'm going to go on training and practicing until I reach my dream of becoming an even better fencer than he is. Which means I'll be better than you, too. I hope you realize that. You're right to aim as high as you can, Geiger. Yes, indeed. You'll be a real champion one day. Thank you. Well, since I lost, this is yours now. I'll stop by on my way home. We'll have ourselves another duel, and I have the feeling you'll win it back. All right. I'll try to be a worthy opponent for you. Hey, you're that already. I'll really have to be on my toes. I'll be waiting for you. Their long sought after goal, the Miracle Mountain, is now right in front of their noses. But as we know, Amy has been lying to Hero about her liver all this long, weary time. How is she going to wiggle out of this one? Could anyone? The difficulties appear insurmountable. Is there really a medicine that can cure the king of the underwater realm? Well, we might find out next time.